The Eternal Dance of Love Once upon a time, in a city of dazzling beauty, there lived a young and handsome painter named Alexander and an enchanting dancer named Isabella. Alexander could never forget the moment he first saw Isabella dance. She was like a beacon of light amidst the bustling crowd, her movements a symphony of grace and passion. Their eyes met, and in that fleeting instant, a silent promise was made. From that day forward, Alexander would often find himself at the plaza, captivated by Isabella's performances. He began to paint her, his canvas barely able to contain the vitality and emotion she exuded. Isabella, too, felt an inexplicable pull towards the mysterious artist who watched her so intently. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, Alexander mustered the courage to approach her. Your dance inspires my art in ways words could never express, he said, offering her a painting of herself caught in an eternal twirl. Isabella was moved by the depth of emotion in the painting. And your art moves my soul, she replied, her voice a melody that resonated with his heart. They began to meet outside the plaza, their conversations flowing as easily as the river that cut through the city. With each passing day, their affection for each other grew, blossoming like the flowers in the city's grand gardens. Alexander showed Isabella the world through his eyes, each brushstroke on his canvas a testament to their growing love. Isabella taught Alexander the language of dance, her every step a word in their unspoken love story. As the seasons changed, so did their love. It deepened, matured, and became the foundation of their existence. They were two souls, intertwined by destiny, dancing an eternal dance of love. Years passed, and their love never wavered. It became a legend in the city, a tale of true love that inspired all who heard it. Alexander and Isabella, the painter and the dancer, remained together, their love as timeless as the art they created. And so they lived happily ever after, their love story a masterpiece, celebrated by the stars and whispered by the winds, forever etched in the annals of time. Whispers of the Heart in the quaint village of Willow Creek, nestled between rolling hills and fragrant meadows, there lived a young poet named Liam and a gifted violinist named Sophia. Their paths crossed on a crisp autumn day when the leaves painted the ground in shades of amber and gold. Liam was strolling through the village square, lost in thought, when the sweet melody of a violin caressed his ears. He followed the sound and found Sophia, her bow dancing across the strings, her music weaving a spell that captured the hearts of all who listened. Their eyes locked, and a spark ignited within them. Liam felt words stir in his soul, a poem taking shape, inspired by the beauty of Sophia's music. After her performance, he shyly approached her, his hands trembling as he handed her a piece of parchment. Your music has awakened the verses within me that I thought were long asleep, he confessed, his voice barely above a whisper. Sophia read the poem, each line resonating with the emotions she poured into her music. And your words have given my music a new purpose, she said, her eyes shining with unshed tears. From that day on, they met often, sharing their art and discovering the harmonious blend of poetry and music. Liam wrote sonnets and ballads that Sophia set to her violin, creating a symphony of love that echoed through the village. Their bond grew stronger with each note and word, a delicate dance of creativity and affection. They performed together in the village square, their collaboration a testament to the love that flourished between them. As time passed, their love became a beacon of hope and beauty in Willow Creek. They inspired the villagers to embrace art and love in all its forms, and their story became a cherished legend, passed down through generations. Liam and Sophia continued to create and love, their lives a melody of joy and passion. Their legacy lived on, a reminder that love can be found in the most unexpected places and can blossom into the most beautiful of stories. And they lived happily ever after, their hearts forever entwined in the whispers of their art. Melodies of the Moonlit Night In the serene town of Luna's Landing, where the river whispered secrets to the moon, there lived a talented painter named Gabriel and a lyrical flutist named Aurora. Their fates intertwined under the glow of a full moon during the town's annual moonlight festival. Gabriel was captivated by the haunting melody of Aurora's flute as it floated through the air, mingling with the gentle night breeze. The music seemed to tell a story of longing and hope, and it stirred something deep within him. Their gazes met across the crowded square, 
a silent understanding passing between them. Gabriel felt compelled to capture the essence of the moment, and he began to sketch furiously, his charcoal dancing across the paper. Aurora's performance came to an end, and the applause was thunderous. Yet, all she could hear was the rapid scratching of charcoal on paper. She approached Gabriel, curious about the stranger who had been so engrossed in his art. Your music is like the night's own voice, Gabriel said, presenting her with the sketch. It was a portrait of her, bathed in moonlight, her eyes alight with the fire of her music. Aurora was touched by the raw emotion in the sketch. And your art has captured the soul of my music, she replied, her voice soft yet clear. They began to meet nightly by the river, sharing stories and dreams. Gabrielle painted while Aurora played, their arts blending into a beautiful tapestry of sound and color. As the days turned into weeks, their affection for each other blossomed like the night-blooming flowers that lined the riverbank. They found solace and inspiration in each other's company, their love growing as steadily as the waxing moon. Their story became known throughout Luna's Landing, a tale of two artists finding love under the watchful eye of the moon. Gabriel and Aurora, the painter and the flutist, continued to create and love, their lives a duet of art and affection. And so they lived happily ever after, their love a melody that would play on for eternity, a testament to the magic of the moonlit night. Once upon a time in the quaint village of Rosewood, there lived a young artist named Asterisk Asterisk Evelyn Asterisk Asterisk. She had a passion for painting the world as she saw it, vibrant, colorful, and full of love. Her canvases were a testament to her belief in the beauty of life. One misty morning, as Evelyn set up her easel by the riverside, a gentle soul named Asterisk Asterisk Oliver Asterisk Asterisk happened upon her. He was captivated not only by the art, but by the artist herself. With a shy smile, he complimented her work, and thus began a conversation that would weave the threads of their destiny together. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Oliver would often visit Evelyn at the riverside, bringing with him wild flowers and stories of his travels. In return, Evelyn shared with him her dreams and the silent language of her art. As the seasons changed, so did their affection for each other grow. They found a love in the simple things, the way the sun reflected off the river, the melody of the autumn breeze, and the warmth of shared laughter. One starry night, Oliver took Evelyn to the top of Asterisk Asterisk Willow Hill Asterisk Asterisk, where the view of the village was breathtaking. Amidst the soft glow of the moonlight, he confessed his love for her, promising to be by her side through every brushstroke of life. Evelyn, with tears of joy glistening in her eyes, whispered her love for him too. They embraced, knowing that their bond was a masterpiece in the making, a love story painted in the use of trust, companionship, and eternal romance. And so Evelyn and Oliver's love became a legend in Rosewood, inspiring all who heard it to believe in the magic of love and the art of living each day with an open heart.